Do you like the look of wood, but you hate all the hassle that comes with refinishing wood and staining it and all of that? The fumes, the hours of waiting, and the gunk involved? If so, I have an easy solution for you. I found a piece of furniture, a beautiful vintage washstand at a thrift store near me for only $20. Best part was it was raw wood. Someone had already like started to work on it and stripped the entire piece. And for whatever reason, they stopped. So it was ready for me to fix it up and make it beautiful again. Let's take a look at what I did and how easy it was. And I don't know if you can see my breath, but uh, it's Michigan, it's December, there's no snow. So it's the perfect time for a furniture makeover starting outside, right? Let's get started. First step is to glove up. Don't laugh, these are the gloves I had. On the back of the piece of furniture, there also is a name, I assume of the buyer, and an old vintage tag from Pentwater, Michigan. The next step is to remove all of the screws and the hardware for this project. I hope to replace the new screws with older ones. I always keep everything I find and I'm putting everything into a Ziploc bag so I don't lose it, the hardware too. I have to show you how this hardware was attached. I don't think it's original to the piece, but they use the washer technique. I often use this if the screws don't fit. Multiple washers so that it holds tight. Each screw had three washers holding it in place. It might surprise you that I'm not gonna paint this piece. I actually like the look of wood, and this piece is a beautiful one. First step, is to sand. I'm using 220 grit sandpaper and my DeWalt Orbital Sander. Are you enjoying this video? If so, take a second to click the like button and subscribe. Also, if you click the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. Once everything was sanded, it was time to bring the piece indoors for the next step. For this project, I'm going to be using Sweet Pickens Oil Wax to stain and protect the piece. The oil wax is a stain and top coat all in one. It also comes in clear, black, and white if you prefer. Oil wax is all natural and water repellent. It also is called one and done because once you put it on, you don't need to reapply it over time. If you would like to purchase the oil wax or any of the paint and products you've seen me use, you can go to my website at shoptheturnedleg.com. Before you apply the oil wax, make sure your piece is clean. I wiped everything down to make sure to get all of the sanding dust off before I started. Make sure your oil wax is well mixed and then I always pour it into another container and grab myself an inexpensive brush to get started. You want to saturate the entire piece with a good coat. Don't worry about brush strokes, just get the oil wax on. Since I'm using an inexpensive brush for this project that I'll probably throw away at the end, I am losing brush hairs. Don't worry about that if this happens to you, we'll get rid of them later. You also might notice that the oil wax may get a little drippy. Feel free to smooth it over if you want with your brush. Since you're gonna leave the oil wax on for 15 to 20 minutes, I recommend doing this piece in small segments and also have a timer. You can work on one area while the other area is setting. Just don't leave the oil wax on longer than 15 to 20 minutes. When the time is up, you want to grab yourself a rag and wipe back all of the excess oil wax and you will reveal the beautiful color of the wood underneath. Then grab a clean cloth and go over it one last time to get all the residue.
I continued working on the rest of the piece, applying the oil wax, waiting 15 to 20 minutes, and wiping it back. When you're wiping back the oil wax, it's important to really make sure you get it all. If this were to dry, it would get all clumpy and would have to be sanded off entirely. So make sure to double check, look underneath and get all the sections wiped clean. And after the first coat of oil wax, this is how it looks. It looked a little light to me. I thought I could use another coat. With oil wax, it's best to wait 12 hours before the next coat. For me, that means the next day. The second coat is exactly the same process. Shake your oil wax well, pour it out, brush it on in small segments, and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes before you wipe it clean. It's that easy. Don't forget to use the second clean cloth to wipe and make sure you get all of the residue. You can apply more coats if you need, but two is usually fine. The next step is let it sit for 12 hours. If you want more of a shine, you can also buff your piece and then put on the hardware and you are done. Hope you're considering adding oil wax to your arsenal for refinishing wood. It is such an easy product to use. And remember, if you don't want to stain the wood a color, if you want to keep it natural, oil wax also comes in clear and you apply it the same way. Let's take a look at the makeover on the $20 wash stand. video has inspired you to get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create, and maybe stain some wood using the oil wax. Thanks so much for watching.